guys to another unboxing and today we have the QCYT11 so what's interesting here is you have hybrid configuration for a TWS and there's not a lot of them in that price range and uh, actually in the TWS space so this falls right smack with the KZS2 um, you know versus that and I do like BAs because they do give you you know better detailed retrieval and for TWS that's really interesting so let's unbox this thing Of course, big thanks to QCY themselves for sending this over. Um, links down below for their shop. You're getting QCY and maybe I got the black version and you do get that maybe AirPods design. Um, T11, um, true wireless earbuds, Bluetooth 5.0, fast pairing of um, voice assistant. You're getting different colors as well. So up 10 millimeter uh, effective range on um, two hours of charging time. Music time, 3.5 hours and this is for the battery. And again, you do get um, hybrid kind of configuration in this. Um, so you have BA and dynamic driver. So that's really exciting, especially for our channel. Actually, it doesn't say in the box that it's a hybrid. So this is your unboxing experience. So inside, you're getting that um, case. Actually, the case is similar to the Sabbath X12 in the design. So not that big. So you're getting some tips, silicone tips, and the several sizes as well. And you're also getting a USB-C as well, short cable. We're getting some manuals as well and uh, yes we're getting that um, TWS itself surprisingly and uh, no case here whatsoever and yeah this is a quite a glossy case here maybe one of the more glossy ones that I have seen because usually in this price range uh, it's more of a matte I'm um, kind of finish so this one is really glossy you have that QCY at the top and here at the front um, you're getting that lip an AirPods-esque um, lip so at the bottom you're getting that USB-C uh, with some information and yeah, pretty minimalist box overall and you're getting a pairing button here as well. So yeah, it lights up and maybe this is the charging indicator. So in terms of the build quality, um, yeah, it's uh, cool that you have a glossy kind of finish. It's different, uh, but I would say, yeah, still it you know feels plasticky. It doesn't feel the most um, secure. Not that bad overall, I'd say, uh, but yeah, definitely I'm still in that price range in terms of the overall build quality. So the gloss in the AirPods um, is still, you know, you know feels better compared to this um this feels um, definitely more cheap but of course yes um it's in incomparable because uh you're getting maybe one fifth one sixth the price in the qcy so looking at the lobes itself it's now lighting up so uh, maybe we can pair it now and uh yeah it has some stem but uh, it's a bit different in terms of the look compared to the airpods um the stem here is a bit um bulged off and here actually do get maybe a a halo kind of style it has a bit of bulge here, uh, which might improve the fit on the ear. Maybe, yeah, similarities to the AirPods, um, but this has a bit more blocky design. So, yeah, um, I would say in terms of the, you know, build quality, again, I'm not the best. But it's nice that you have a black um, design, so it will be understated on the ear, so that might not be a big issue. So, you do get um, that in-ear as well. Um, does go, yeah, fairly inside the ear, but not that much. So, um, this still might be comfortable to wear on the ear. First, I'm putting this inside the case. So, this is what you get. So, yeah, it's similar to the AirPods in terms of the, you know, the way you put it inside. So, uh, I do like that I have a, a matte and a glossy in the outside. So, actually, now when you put them together, um, it kind of looks better for me. So, that's really cool. And, uh, yeah, the matte finish in the inside does look cool for me. It's, and now, it's charging as well. So, the opening and closing is a fast opening and closing. It has some magnet as well. Uh, but I would say yes, I'm not, you know, the highest quality opening and closing here. So yes, in terms of build quality, I would say it falls right smack in that price range, you know, not the best um, build quality. I would still give the build quality to your Sabbaths compared to this. Uh, but uh, I guess the main difference is you have a more compact QCYT11 case here. So definitely has some similarities um, with the AirPods in the, you know, overall size. So um, this is more sleek um, on the hand. Alright, so we are now wearing the T11 on our ear and it does have that maybe AirPods-esque um, look to it. And the fit is also um, similar to the AirPods as well. Maybe 95% of the fit of the AirPods on the ear, really stable. You can maybe use this for some extraneous activities and also um, isolates um, quite okay as well. Not the best, of course, uh, but it you know blocks out most of the noise. And also in terms of the comfort as well, um, this is fairly comfortable because it's a small um, TWS um, light as well. So you can use this for a long listening session. So yeah, fit on the ear on this, um, it's really good. Um, it's also pretty light as well, so um, it doesn't you know bother you on the ear. And yeah, for me, it's a looker as well. So um, yeah, it's not that tacky looking because of that black um, design. Um, it's uh, quite sleek on the ear. 
So yes, let's have a first um, listen in these, maybe some Let's Groove, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. All right, so firstly, um, the micro detail here, the shimmer is really existing in the mix. Um, it has that BA shimmer. It has that BA um, speed at the top, which is uh, quite impressive for a TWS. And also the bass here, um, it's really boomy as well in the mix. It's really substantial in the mix. So the tuning for me, it's similar to maybe um, the ZST Xs. So um, the bass is substantial in the mix with that shimmer on top. The vocal is quite revealing as well, but definitely recessed in the mix. But it has that um, you know, BA presentation. Um, this is more bassy compared to the S2. So the S2 is more of a you know clarity um, focused um, TWS. In this one, it has that bass and uh, you know clarity as well at the top. Let's try maybe some It's My Life Bon Jovi. Yeah, It's My Life Bon Jovi. That micro detail um, at the start um, is being resolved in the mix. Definitely the BA helps out in, you know, presentation. Yeah, the vocal is quite revealing, uh, but actually the vocal, yeah, it's recessed in the mix and quite small as well. So this is not your full big um, vocal in the mix. Um, this is not for vocal heads, but uh, the vocal is not that bad overall. And yes, the bass here is really prominent in the mix. This can be for bass heads. Um, so it's that, you know, prominent in the mix. For some people, you might find the bass here too much. So um, it's that, you know, prominent in the mix. The bass here kind of reminds me of the Sabbaths as well. So if you kind of like a Sabbath bass, um, you might like the listen in these. The bass is in the boomy side. And definitely there's some mid-bass bleed in this. So yes, I'm really elevated bass in the mix. Yeah, but what I really like about this track is the micro detail. Um, let's try some 24K Magic Bruno Mars. Yeah, the vocal, you know, it's, it's um, not the biggest vocal, not the thickest vocal. But it's still quite revealing in the mix. It definitely has that BA sensitivity to the vocal. It's The vocal is more in the clean side of presentation. So definitely a really musical type of listen for me on the ear. So we're going to do some measurements later to confirm. But uh, I want to record my initial impressions in this. But uh, I'm liking the listen so far. Especially for TWS. So definitely that BA on top um, made a difference in the sound. Um, let's try to listen to some Let's Groove, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, here, um, you definitely have that shimmer on top, but not overly done. And the bass here is really prominent in the mix. Yeah, elevated bass in the mix. So this is a bassy V um, type of listen on the ear. And the bass is really boomy as well. Maybe there's some hotness uh, in the mids and uh, at the top as well. So I'm encountering some hotness maybe at the top. So there's some slight sibilance there, um, especially in this track. So yeah, for me, it's uh, that revealing in the mix. That it even has, um, you know, some hotness in the track. Let's try one last track before doing some measurements. Maybe some You Not Me um, Dream Theater. Yeah, the mids here um, is really scooped in the mix. The male vocal is more recessed. Yeah, it has a bit of hotness in the vocal here as well. Soundstage is uh, quite intimate, not the biggest that I've heard. So I would say one of the weakness for me here. Imaging is not that prominent as well. So again, one weakness. Separation is... Uh, not that black and white for me. Um, you know the it has that mixture of clean and uh, smoothness, but because the bass is really prominent in the mix, the separation is uh, you know a bit uh, blurred off. So it's not the best separation. But definitely for a fun type of listen, this might be one of the the most detailed fun that I have listened to in that price range. Yeah, because the the S two is more of a, of an analytical type of listen, clarity focused. Um, this has um substantial bass. Alright, so we now did some measurements, and the uh, yummy yeah, measurements confirmed um my uh, thoughts in my initial impressions that uh, it's a bass CV um type of tuning on the ear. So the tuning here really reminds me of maybe a Halo um kind of tuning. We're gonna compare it later, uh, but it's a very TWS tuning. So this kind of tuning is not something that I usually see in your usual uh, maybe IEMs. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, definitely that, um, you know, a V um, type of shape um, through and through. So from the base region, um, we get a slight hump. Um, this is a really interesting hump. I'm going to around 70 hertz. So I haven't seen this in, um, you know, any IEMs, uh, any TWSs. But uh, you do get um, maybe good sub bass um, elevation in this. So um, the base is really substantial in the mix here. And then after that, um, elevation to around 70, 100 hertz. It goes down to around 200 hertz. And then actually you get uh, maybe a slight um, elevation there at around 200 to 300 hertz. And then after that, it goes down to around 1K, uh, which forms your uh, V um, type of shape. But actually, you do have that maybe 1 to 2K um, elevation than, uh, you know, what I see with other V shapes, like maybe um, the ZSTXs, uh, um, it has that maybe elevation there. Uh, maybe the DQ6 also has that elevation there. So it has a little bit of, you know, um, elevation in the vocal region, which might give some energy to the vocal. Uh, but yes, you know, it's still, um, it's more recessed than your bass in your highs. Um, so it's still a V-shaped. 
And after that, you get that dip at around 3K. So uh, I haven't seen um, this kind of dip in your usual IEMs. And then it goes up to around 5K. So this is what I mentioned in my initial impressions that we might have a 5K peak here. And then after that, it goes down to around 10K. And then after that, you have that um, treble elevation, that air frequency elevation at around 12 to 13K. So yeah, definitely a very um, Halo um, type of tuning on the air. And uh, this is the tuning of the Halo GT1 Plus. So as you guys can see, it has that maybe similarities in the overall curve. So uh, you have that base elevation and you have that maybe 12K um, elevation as well at the top. And you're getting that, you know, um, substantial valley at the middle. So, um, you know, very much similar to the um, Halo GT1. But uh, actually, they tuned the T11 to be a little bit more lively to listen to. So maybe, you know, that hump at around 100 hertz, we accentuated the bass a little bit. And uh, you're getting that maybe dip at around 1K, but uh, that elevation at around 1 to 2K, which might accentuate some vocals a bit. And you're getting that 5K elevation as well compared to the Halo that you don't have that um, in the 5K. So the 5K in the Halo is a bit more um, recessed in the mix. Um, so yeah, the vocal will be a little bit more um, relaxed in the Halo GT1+. Plus. And uh, yeah, at the top, um, definitely you're getting uh, as well that uh, 12K, 10K peak. Uh, but in the um, T11, it's even more accentuated. And also given that um, you have a BA type of presentation, so the BA uh, maybe pierces through the mix uh, more than your dynamic driver. So definitely you're getting you know pretty good energy at the top uh, with the T11. So compared to the KZ S1D, so the S1D has more of a typical you know double horns at the top i'm um, tuning um so in the s1d you get that significant 5k peak and you also get that um, air frequency elevation as well at around 12k similar um to the t11 but yeah definitely the 5k is even more pronounced uh, but here in um the s1d the bass um is you know more toned down in the mix definitely your t11 will be more bassy again your kz's will have you know more clarity at the top um usually kz's you know focus on the clarity so if you definitely if you like bass you might like the t11 more than your usual so compared to the s2 so the kz s2 definitely has more air frequencies a very KZ um, type of sound um, on the ear. So in the S2, you're still getting a very chai fi very KZ type of tuning. So you're getting still that 5K peak um, in the S2. And you're actually getting a really significant um, 10K, 12K peak at the top. So the peak on the top in the S2 is even more pronounced. Um, so yeah, the S2 will still you know be a uh, more clarity focused again over your C11. So for bass heads, you will like the C11 more than your S2. And yeah, that um, you know, 12k peak uh, might not be um good for some. So for me, yes, um, the major pros in this is uh, definitely the detail retrieval, the micro detail, is more than your usual dynamic driver counterpart. So um, also one pro is it has a revealing sound at the top. So it's a uh, you know clean presentation because of that BA presentation. So the vocals are still you know quite revealing um in the mix. The cymbals have good uh, musicality to it. Um, the guitars have that air where you can see um, you know it feels alive substantial bass as well so um this can be for um bass heads um so it's that substantial it goes deep as well all right so let's try to close this thing so for the t11 of course yes we're just focusing on the sound quality here i have seen um, already some reviews in this with uh, you know other you know features um so you can check that out if you like uh, but for the sound quality for me um so definitely it's really interesting uh it's you know one of the few hybrid configurations that i have seen i um, in that price range actually i heard of other hybrids that i didn't particularly like like maybe the cx 10s um i didn't particularly like the listen in that but this one i did enjoy it you know it's not your enthusiast um listen on the air but for some casual listening um this is quite enjoyable so frankly for me i do like to see more hybrids um like this in the tws space uh but yes uh, first if you learn something leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future uh do you have some requests on tws's that you'd like me to check out um let me know down in the comments below of course uh, we're gonna do a sound test as well um compared to the gt1 plus s2 uh, e10s as well so um stay tuned for that and see you guys in the next z bolt unboxing goodbye